Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Outlook.Office.com ribbon. So they updated this for the Office.com users, you know, Office 365, that sort of thing for using the webmail. So you'll notice it looks more like the uh, ribbon that you have in Microsoft Office products. And if you're using the free Outlook.Live.com, you'll notice it's pretty much the same here. And then if, you know, it's nothing until you click on an email, then you have your options, you know, delete, archive, so on. So I'm uh, not sure if the new ribbon will make it to the outlook.live.com, but you probably assume that it probably will since they're going to change everything here eventually. So the office.com ribbon, this, is, this kind of looks like the new Outlook 1 client that they're working on that's supposed to replace the Windows Mail client that you know, comes installed with Windows. So you can see it's more of a, like I said, more of a ribbon like you'd find in Office. And you have two tabs here, Home and View. You know, then you have your typical things like if you want to toggle your folders on and off, your new mail options, uh, you know, deleting and archiving, you know, groups like you have in Office, uh, reporting junk, blocking, your typical reply and forward settings. Then you could uh, make a meeting request based on the email you have open. That type of thing. Uh, the sweep, which is a... Uh, cleanup feature here if you want to move all messages from a certain sender you know and that kind of thing based on these rules here uh, then you have your move to if you want to move emails around we can, obviously you could drag them and drop them as well and create new folders uh, rules that you could do you know within outlook uh, the regular outlook clients and also the webmail clients you could make rules uh, mark messages read and unread set your categories Assign flags, uh, pin emails, so if you want to do that. Snooze emails, so if you want to be reminded later. Uh, policies that you want to apply to emails. Groups, and then of course the add-ins that you could add to Outlook. And then the View tab here, you got your settings, which you could get, you know, same thing as going up here. If you want to group your conversations, if you want to turn the preview text on or off, uh, change the folder pane settings, the reading pane layout. Uh, the density, you know, if you want to compress things or spread them apart to make them easier to read. And then you have the immersive reader, which will actually read your emails to you, and then print. And then off to the side here, you have this little arrow here if you want to give it a more of a simplified look to give you more space. But then you don't get the labels and you don't get the groups. You just have to know what you're doing here. So I kind of like this one better. So it's kind of cool, you know, so if you're used to using... Uh, the Outlook client on your computer or the Office software, then it'll kind of look a little more familiar to you, maybe make things easier to use for you. So like I said, not sure if, when or if it's going to make it to the free Outlook.live.com version or not, but I would assume it should. So if you have this uh, Office.com or Outlook.Office.com, you should have this. And if not, you should have it soon because I think they're just starting to roll it out. So I imagine you're going to get it uh, eventually here. So depending on when you're watching this video or not, you probably have it already. All right, so I just want to give you the quick overview in case you're kind of wondering why things changed and it looked a little different. So check it out and see how you like it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.